we are going to review how we can use Cisco with an example. The first thing you have to do is installing Cisco. In, in Linux, you're going to use apt-get to install Cisco. In Mac, you will you'll be using Homebrew or Macforce to install Cisco. Next thing is you have to create the Cisco file that is very similar to ctag file. That is very similar to tag files in ctag. Um, let's assume that you want to uh, create the um, a Cisco output file in the Tomos directory of Pintus. So we change the directory to src directory of Pintus, and then you create all the list of the files in I'll put uh, redirects the file to Cisco. Then create a Cisco file. And then uh, let's see if the Cisco file has been created properly. Oops, there is an error in the file, so let me just fix it. Okay, so um, let's see. We are already in the directory you want to create the Cisco file. So find dot minus dash name and and so you redirect the output of find to the cscope.files okay it's done now you create the cscope output file cscope scope dash i cscope files Okay, so Cisco files has been created. Now let's go get out of this application via typing query, Control D. Okay, so let's check whether uh, Cisco out file has been created or not. Okay, so there is a Cisco out file, and that's about 40k. Okay, now um, let me show how we can use Cisco in Vim. So um, open the Vim file syscope dot out. All right. So we 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 open up a syscope dot out file, and then from the command mode, you type cs add. Uh, cs stands for syscope, and you're gonna add um, syscope dot out file. All right, so and then uh, let's uh, use some basic command if it works. Okay, so um, we're gonna find the function that calls memset. Cisco find calling memset. Voila. So there are a full bunch of functions that calls memset from that that are numbered. So for for number one, this is a line fifty. Of the file that is located in file sys on the bar futil.c. That's memset. So it is a lot more convenient for ctag. It's much more powerful for ctag. ctag is used to uh, find a tag. So it finds a function name. We can navigate through the function names. But in cscope, uh, it introduces levels of interaction. Uh, you can find the functions that calls a given function, and uh, you can list up all the functions that are called by the given function. Okay, so and then uh, let's do, try again. Um, let's see. Let's find g and main, and. It is very similar to the, uh, this kind of feature can be done in CTEC as well. Um, it lists up the path name, file name, and line number of main function. So from the first one to the last one, from number one to number 16, and there is number 38. So these are all the definitions of main function. And also, um, we can list up all the path file name and line number of code including the string um, shot that start with shut cs find e shut all right this is what we can do with cscope
Let, uh, let's see what kind of commands are available in Cisco. There are uh, eight commands S, G, D, C, T, E, F, I. And these are all uh, reviewed. Well, we can find the C symbol of string, and we can find definitions and function that is called by a function string and functions that calls a given function. And then we also find text string and everything. So Cscope is very, very powerful feature for hackers to navigate through uh, hundreds of files. Good luck.